This is the Sol Ross Skyline Video News Report. Hi, I'm Josh Castro, and this is a Saul Ross Video News Report for the week of February 2nd. A student printmaking exhibition of the print exchange and selected works are on display until March 2nd in the main art gallery in the Fine Arts Building. A variety of techniques including relief, intaglio, monotype, monoprints, triangle collagraphs, and solar plane intaglio are on exhibit. A reception will be held for the artists Thursday, February 16th from 5 to 6 p.m. in the gallery. There is no admission charge and the public is invited. The gallery is located in the Fine Arts Building and the hours are 8 a.m to 5 p.m. Monday through Friday. Arbor Day was observed on Saturday in Alpine. Volunteers endured the cold and the wind to celebrate Arbor Day by planting trees at the Alpine Animal Shelter. Fifteen assorted evergreen trees were planted on the northwest side to help provide wind and sun protection for outside kennels. A drop irrigation system was installed to water the trees along with protective wire screen coverings to deter deer munching. The project was funded by the Big Bend Chapter of Texas Native Plant Society in cooperation with Keep Alpine Beautiful. Now here's Brooke with your Lobo Sports. Hi, I'm Brooke Bankston with your Lobo Sports Report. The Lobos and Lady Lobos were swept on the road this weekend. On Thursday, the Lady Lobos fell to Concordia, 93-66 in Austin. The Lady Lobos would fight hard in the first half, staying within 9 points of Concordia at halftime. In the second half, the Lady Lobos would come out on a 7-3 run to pull within five. The Tornadoes would follow that with a 16-2 run and would control the rest of the game. Sol Ross shot 38% from the field and 83% from the free throw line, hitting 25 out of 30. Krista Ford led the Lobos with 20 points and nine rebounds. Michelle Moore and Samantha Baker each added nine. On Saturday, the Lady Lobos would be defeated in Belton by Mary Harden Baylor. The Lobos fell behind early after an 11-2 run by UMHB, but made an 18-11 run to pull within two in the first half. This was a, as close as the Lady Lobos would get and would lose the game 86-61. Sol Ross shot 41% from the field and 85% from the free throw line. Ford would lead the Lady Lobos again with 29 points while Caitlin Moody added 10, and Zuri Zworski had 9. The Lady Lobos now dropped to 2-16 and 16 in an American Southwest Conference play. The men also struggled on the road, falling to Concordia 88-57 on Thursday. The Lobos opened the game with a 16-7 run, but Concordia would have a 12-4 run to catch up and ended the half on a 20-6 run to take the lead. The Lobos were never able to recover and struggled the rest of the game. Solra shot 42% from the field and 69% from the charity stripe, hitting 22 of 32. Colton Thompson and Darrell Gardner led the Lobos with 9 each, while Justin Weldon grabbed 5 rebounds. On Saturday, the woes continued for the Lobos in Belton. Mary Harden Baylor began on a 26-4 run. The Lobos went on a run to pull within 13, but were never able to get any closer, losing the game 90-56. to Sol Ross shot 33% from the field and 77% from the free throw line. Braylon Thomas led the Lobos with 22 points. Thompson had a double-double, scoring 17 points and grabbing 10 rebounds. The Lobos dropped to 5-14 and 14 in conference play. Both teams return to action tonight at the Gallego Center in a rematch against Concordia beginning at 5.30 p.m. And on Saturday, they get another chance against Mary Harden Baylor, beginning at 1 p.m. Now back to you. Alpine Recycles would like to thank all who participated in this year's Electronic Recycling Week. Contributors came from all over the Tri-County area, making this a great collaborative effort. Two truckloads of computers, laptops, power backups, and other electronics amounted to 36 pallets weighing close to 20,000 pounds. This is Alpine's third annual recycling event. Now for Word on the Street. With Super Bowl Sunday upon us, our word on the street questions are, who do you expect to win the Super Bowl, the Giants or the Patriots? And what are some of your favorite Super Bowl commercials? The Giants. Oh, who's going to win? Giants. Giant. Dog. Yeah. Well, I'm just going to go for the Patriots because they have a guy on there that I like, Wes Welker, who went to Texas Tech while I was at Tech. Um, I'm not too uh, good on score predictions, but you know, I uh, definitely think the Giants are going to win, and you know, that's 
what I predict. What's your favorite commercial from the Super Bowl? Doritos, bro. <laughs> um, I like them all. Um, I don't know. I mean, I usually like them. That's usually why I watch the Super Bowl for the commercials. I think the marketing is really, really funny. Uh, probably the, the, the Doritos commercial uh, with the guy, you know, that, uh, you know, grabs the other guy's hand and, you know, licks his, <laughs> licks his finger and like, mmm, cheese. <laughs> That's it for Word on the Street. Now let's check the weather with Jasmine. Hi, this is Jasmine with your weekend weather. Today, mostly sunny with the high of 63, warmest day of the week. Dark tonight with widely scattered patches of light in the morning. Tomorrow, National Men's Grooming Day. Sunny with a high of 45. Saturday, partly cloudy with a high of 35. This is the coldest day of the week. Super Bowl Sunday Fun Day. Also, National Weather Persons Day. Yeah! Morning clouds and afternoon sun with a high of 46 and a 20% chance of rain. Back to you. Thanks, Jasmine. Now for this week's announcements. Super Bowl Sunday is upon us, and Sully Productions will be having its annual Super Bowl party upstairs in the UC. Everyone is invited to watch the game with food and a chance to win prizes. The party begins at 3 p.m. this Sunday. On Tuesday, the Black Student Association will be hosting the grand opening of the Civil Rights Exhibition upstairs in the UC foyer. The exhibit is on display now. For more information, contact Ernest Jones at 210 439-0366. And finally, congratulations to Rudy Hernandez for receiving the safety award this week. Hernandez received the award along with a jacket and pin commemorating the achievement on his last day of work before retirement. Danny, it's been a pleasure. Uh, I'm going to miss you. seeing you out there every morning when I come to work. <laughs> what am yeah. I going to do? No one to talk to anymore. Well, I was happy getting an award. You know, well, they told me about it. I was supposed to get one, but it took quite a while to get it, but I got it. <laughs> I'm Josh Castro, and this has been the Saul Ross Video News Report. Lenny Lobo and I would like to welcome uh, the recent contributions of prominent alumni Harley Hoop and his daughter Hula. And we'd also let you know that today's Skyline News broadcast is brought to you by Fred's Frozen Seafood Treats. Sample our savory squidsicle in five famous flavors. <laughs>